Woodbridge is a name we're all familiar with. Well, just like his famous dad Todd, Bo's making a name for himself, but on a different stage. As Todd and Bo Woodbridge strolled through London's famed theatre district, it's obvious that the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. And this young man is certainly the apple of his dad's eye. Who's more excited, you or your dad? Oh, him for sure. <laughs> Todd Woodbridge, be it tennis or TV, is proven to be at the top of his game, a shooting star in awe of his rising son. We're all proud of our kids and um, I, I know how hard he's worked to get to this point. It's no different to what I felt like I was at his age and uh, when you work hard, you know, good things can happen. Let me take you for a ride. 22-year-old Bo Woodbridge has just landed the lead role in the Broadway hit Dear Evan Hansen. How would you describe Evan? He is a shy, socially awkward, kind of anxiety-ridden boy that really just wants to be loved. It's a heavy workload and a heavy plot. Depression, suicide, bullying, it's all covered. But Bo was born for this. As a youngster, Bo travelled the world watching his dad have his name etched on honour boards at places like Roland Garros, Flushing Meadows and, of course, Wimbledon. But for Bo, it was never Wimbledon which beckoned. It was always the West End. Did you ever want to play tennis? <laughs> oh, I don't think so. I, I, would, I no. would have a hit of the ball. He never wanted to play tennis. <laughs> Tash? His mum was driving him off to theatre class one day and he turned to her and I think you're about eight or nine and he said, Mum, I don't want to play tennis, that's Dad's thing. Yeah. And that was at such a young age, he already knew that he wanted his own space and his own place, his own creativity. Yeah. He was first introduced to Australian audiences as a ten-year-old when he performed at Carols by Candlelight. We should have known then, this little bloke was dreaming big. I do get nervous when I get out on stage and I, I think what I've learned to do though is, I've always said, and, and, and Dad's always said this as well, it, I am nervous but I, I just think that means I really care about what I'm doing. It was just after Wimbledon last year that Todd and his wife Natasha returned to Australia, minus their son. Bo stayed in London, having been accepted into the prestigious Royal Academy of Music. In that one year, he matured into a man, destined to become a leading man. Yes, I'm live in living colour. What was really good about this year here is I, I was surrounded by these peers that are all at such a high level that we all knew where we all fit, so it was this great kind of, it was, it was competitive, but it was this great sense of competition where we were lifting each other up and we were kind of bringing each other to the next point rather than, you know, maybe have, putting them down to get there. We, it was just we were making each other better the whole way. Todd is unashamedly his son's number one fan and he alone is almost guaranteeing sell-out performances. How many tickets have you bought so far? <laughs> I think more than his pay. <laughs> How many shows have you booked in for so far? Uh, five at the moment. Five at the moment. Um, and we're only into about week four of the run. <laughs> Dear Evan Hansen opens in Sydney on October 12. And make no mistake, there'll be opening night nerves, sweaty palms, endless pacing. Not Bo, though. He's the calm one. It's Todd we're worried about. We're very proud of him. <laughs> <laughs> well done, mate. Yeah, it's amazing.